some weeks ago, the Notion bar asked on Twitter which famous person's Notion headquarter you would like to see in reality. And my first thought was Leonardo da Vinci. But after some days, I actually thought about that tweet again. And my second thought was, hmm, actually, I want to see the Notion headquarter of Benjamin Franklin. Why Benjamin Franklin? Well, from all the founding fathers of the USA, I think he is the most fascinating person. He was not just a politician, but he was a diplomat, an inventor, a businessman, a famous writer, and he was a multi-talented person. And that was actually due to a kind of habit tracker he invented as a young man, because he wanted to be a more productive, a much more virtuous person. And so he invented his personal habit tracking system. So he tracked actually habits a long time before it was cool. And in a spontaneous night shift, I tried to recreate his habit tracking system in Notion. In this video, I will guide you through the Benjamin Franklin productivity system I have created. So we are here now in my Notion dashboard in my Benjamin Franklin productivity system template. And I will guide you in a quick tour through the main features of this template. The core feature of this template is Benjamin Franklin's habit tracker. But of course, Benjamin Franklin did some additional things to stay more productive and virtuous during the day. And I tried to implement as many of his ideas as possible into this template. The first widget you see is a quote of the day, a quote of Benjamin Franklin, of course. The idea behind this widget is uh, really easy. I just wanted to show a quote of Benjamin Franklin, in this case, every day. And how does it work? We can, we can click inside. You see that there is a day. So we have actually 31 quotes and you see here day to day. Today is the 13th of August. So every day or every quote is actually attached to a day of the month. So on the first, you see a specific quote. On the second, you see a specific quote. On the 31st, you see a specific quote. Uh, so every day of the month, you see a different quote. But if it's the first of the month, it's always the same quote. Um, of course, you could expand this system. Actually, I plan to do a yearly annual system with 365 or 66 actually for some years uh, quotes and that are connected to every day of the year. Um, for this template, um, it was too much work and I actually didn't find so many quotes of Benjamin Franklin, but I actually plan to publish this uh, quote widget uh, as a template soon with uh, 365 motivational quotes. So just follow me to get updated about this widget if you're interested in getting it. You might hear about Benjamin Franklin's ideal day. So Benjamin Franklin tried to actually structure his day in a kind of perfect way or in some way that was actually working best for him. Of course, he could not live up to his ideal day every day, but he tried to stick to it as much as possible. And here you see actually an overview of his daily uh, schedule. And you see he was an early riser. He tried to get up at five o'clock. Then he prepared for work for uh, three hours. So it was rising, washing, uh, doing some positive thinking, uh, having breakfast. And after that, he started to work for four hours. Um, that was interrupted by a lunch break. And after that, he worked for four more hours again. And in the night, he tried to put things into place, have supper, uh, divert himself with music, and he looked back at his day. That's actually also the next point, his journaling he was doing in the morning and in his evening. But before we look at the journaling of Benjamin Franklin, uh, I will show you how this widget is actually working. So the normal view is now view, and here you always see what you are actually supposed to do during the given hour. So now it's 10.41 a.m. in my country and the schedule says I should work. So I'm recording a video. So I hope that I'm actually living up to 
Benjamin Franklin's ideal day. But of course, if you use the template, you can of course adjust the, the, the schedule to your needs, to the hours you want to work, to you want to rise. Actually, August Bradley talked about this system some months ago and August Bradley, another notion of influencer, is a big fan of having a very structured day. So at every hour of the day, you should actually know what you are doing. So you are actually more productive because you're not thinking too much. You're not uh, procrastinating too much when you always know, ah, now it's that hour. I am now just working and I do it for the next four hours. If you're doing that all the time, all the days or almost all the days, you're actually really uh, getting a routine. And for you, it feels much more normal. And I think that kind of schedule is actually really helpful for people that are uh, not working in a company that are like freelancers or uh, being uh, self-employed and that have they, that don't have a very structured day. So for somebody like me, like me, so I'm a freelancer, I'm self-employed for more than five years now, um, it's really helpful to know every time what I should actually do. I told you before about Benjamin Franklin's journaling. And if you have done journaling before, you're probably aware of those two questions. Benjamin Franklin's first question after waking up was, what good shall I do this day? And in the evening, he concluded the day with the question, what good have I done today? So he tried to frame the day in a very positive way. So he started with, okay, what good can I actually do? And at night, in the evening, he thought, okay, did I actually did something good? Of course, if you're doing journaling, there are lots of great uh, journaling prompts you find on the internet. So you can, of course, adjust those journaling questions to your needs. But I think it's really a good idea to actually start the day with a question that's actually doing some framing for the day, some positive framing for the day, and to end the day with a question and to end it with a positive um, feedback you're giving to the day. Probably you're actually enjoying your night much better when you are aware that you actually did something good during the day. And now we come to the core of Benjamin Franklin's system, the habit tracker. Benjamin Franklin actually tracked 13 habits or he called it virtues. So the first one was temperance, then silence, order, resolution, and so on. And some of his virtues might sound out dated today and of course you can change it to your needs but if you look closely at the things he tried to track you have to admit that he, that these are actually really good things to track for example temperance is means actually eat not to dullness drink not to elevation that's actually something that's useful for all of us i think and benjamin franklin was actually aware that it's not so easy to track or to do 13 things every day, every week, it's probably an impossible task that would stress him too much. His idea was actually to theme every week with one virtue and he concentrated all his efforts on doing that one single virtue during this week. So the first week was temperance, the second week was actually themed with silence, and then order, resolution, frugality, and so on. And of course, he tracked all the virtues. So at the end of the day, he tried to see, okay, did I live up to the virtues I tried to track? But he didn't care too much if he, for example, in the week of silence, if he failed with order or resolution. His focus was to actually check silence seven times during the week. And his goal was, of course, to have to check as many virtues as possible, but of course, uh, it wasn't so important to be perfect because he was aware that he's not a perfect human being, but to at least try to be as good as possible. And his system allowed him to be a much more productive and virtuous person. His plan was also to actually use the momentum of a week to be better with a given virtue in the next week. For example, when he succeeded with silence seven times in a row, he was thinking, okay, next week, probably I'm just having the momentum with science. I don't need to use a lot of willpower to uh, perform very good with this virtue. Did he actually succeed with the system? He used it for most of his life. Well, that's an open question. I don't know, actually. 
he was known to be a big fan of drinking beer. So maybe temperance was something he struggled with. But of course, it makes sense if you have some yeah, vices. <laughs> of course, you try to do better. And maybe without the system, he would be would have been drunk much more often than without this system. And yeah, it's a really easy notion habit track. Of course, there are more complex systems, but sometimes the easy systems are actually the systems we stick with. Because if it's so complicated, we are actually often very often not doing the things. So that system could actually be right for you. Of course, you have to adjust it to your needs. Probably you want to track different things. Um, I like the idea of the week cycle. So you go through 13 weeks and every week that is themed with one virtue. And after week 13, you start again with week one and do it all again. And that's for the rest of your life, hopefully. So the idea is really good. It's really simple. And I can imagine that it can work for a lot of people. But of course, you have to try it out for yourself. Some systems work for uh, some persons. Some systems don't work for some persons. And there's no guarantee, there's not a single system that is actually working for every human being. You need to be aware of that. If you are interested in getting this template, please just follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your interest in my Benjamin Franklin template. And see you next time. Bye-bye.